Our climate has changed, and it's going to keep on changing. We have a good idea of what to expect globally, but not all places are affected in the same way. This is especially true for climate change hotspots, areas that experience climate change more intensely than other places. For the hundreds of millions of people living in the semi-arid hotspot regions of Africa and Asia, life is already challenging. Their climates are harsh and hard to predict. Things are likely to get worse, making the problems we face much harder to overcome. But it's these same areas that could teach us how to adapt. For thousands of years, local people have maintained a balance with nature that's allowed them to survive in difficult conditions. That's why a group of leading research and development organizations have formed ASAR. We've been studying how the climate has already changed and is expected to change in these hotspots. We want to better understand the impacts of climate change and pinpoint effective ways to adapt so that people living in these areas are better prepared for a changing world. This video has been made to share with you the most recent research that we have, so that together we can plan for the future. In India, we are working in the Bangalore, Moya Bhavani and Sangamna semi-arid sub-regions in a mix of urban, rural and forest areas. In two of these regions, the temperature has been steadily increasing over the past 60 years at a faster rate than the rest of the Indian subcontinent. Semi-arid areas in India have also experienced extreme rain and heat waves in recent decades. These heat waves can last as long as 12 to 16 days and caused over 2,000 deaths this year. By 2050, average temperatures across central and northern parts of India are expected to increase by at least 2 degrees, which is likely to have a big impact on rural production, including livestock and agriculture. It's harder to predict how rainfall will change, but there are some persistent trends that we can base our adaptation strategies on. There's been a significant decrease in rainfall in some regions, and the monsoon has become more erratic. Extreme rainfall events are expected to increase, and some semi-arid regions and urban areas are identified as highly vulnerable. A lot of rural areas will be affected by these changes, but rapid and unplanned urban expansion is projected to compound the impact of extreme events for the increasing urban population as well. In the course of the ASAR project, we're going to deepen understanding of what impacts these changes will cause and what challenges this will bring for different groups, like pastoralists, women, youth and the elderly, and those living in urban and rural areas. But ASAR's aim is to go further than that. We want to understand how to face these challenges, what factors make a real difference in being able to effectively adapt to these impacts, and how to improve people's well-being. Ultimately, we want to see a shift from adaptation that happens in a piece-by-piece, short-term way to adaptation that brings widespread, long-term changes that will help better protect people and environments. We'll be working with decision-makers, practitioners and communities so that ASA research brings direct benefit in shaping and informing how the most vulnerable can adapt to the challenges ahead. Our climate is changing. It's time that we do too.